Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Today, we are checking out the Scar Blades Archangel. And we're going to see if this little blade could be an angel on your shoulder and have your back in all sorts of different situations. Let's take a look here at the blade design of the Archangel. What you have here is a cutting edge of four and a quarter with a full blade length to the handle right here of five and a quarter inch blade made out of 1095 high carbon steel Rockwell hardness of 58 along the edge and then they don't harden it quite as much throughout the spine so it's different heat treatments so that uh, it gives it some flexibility three sixteenths of an inch thick spine which is really nice because then you can uh, get some really good batoning going nice and thick you know you're not worried about it breaking or snapping on you uh, and then you have here oh uh, it's really wide uh, one in three four seven inches in width from top to bottom here you got that huge amount of belly really nice amount of belly there that is a hollow grind but you got huge slicing capability into that kind of reverse tanto sheep's hoof design kind of reminds me of uh, some of Benchmade's models and that is a sharpened swedge up here as well they grind it in at 30 degrees on each side so total circumference of 60 and it is nice and sharp going to do a great job for you you can get these also with a sharpened swedge up here uh, I decided to because these are semi-custom uh, call the guys over at Scholar Blades and when we were designing this thing for myself uh, I said let's not do a sharpened swedge swedge up there so you can get this either with a sharpened swedge up here or just flat like you see here I wanted to do that because I was going to use it more in kind of a wilderness uh, use than in fighting tactical type of uh, use was how I was going to use this arc angel gives you these three kind of probably weight distribution holes here just kind of cut down on weight a little bit and uh, overall I mean just an awesome very unique blade design Yeah, check that out. That Archangel is doing a great job making a feather stick right here. Uh, I mean, this is very, very comfortable. You see how I'm just kind of putting my thumb right over that slight thumb ramp, really cupped into place, and uh, I have really good control over this four and a quarter inch blade. And you can see there, I mean, I can definitely, I'm definitely getting some whittling going, some carving. Wow, that is awesome even though it's kind of a wide grind angle at 30 degrees i mean that that is slicing off pieces of wood this archangel you know one of the best things about the design of this archangel is that if i really need to get aggressive in my whittling and carving and you can just see how well this thing is doing i ha i can really choke up on this thing and bypass the handguard down here and I'm putting my finger over, you can see there, over, and it, it's basically given me a blank uh, finger choil right there that I can really choke up and get really aggressive on that piece of wood. You can see there I'm doing it without gloves, and I mean, I am just all over this piece of wood. That is awesome, I love that. All right, well, let's talk about the sheath here on this Archangel for just a moment. Just like all of Scarblade's other knives, it comes with a Kydex sheath, which is really nice. I really like it a lot. Uh, you know, it clicks into place really well. It comes with a nice belt loop here that it can rotate 360 degrees. And then you just tighten it down with a flathead screwdriver where you want it in the particular position you want. And that's very durable, nice big belt loop right there. That's really nice. Drainage hole, other lashing points you can do as well. Uh, and then you just slide the blade into place, clicks in with authority, really nice. You hear that? No rattle. Really nice thumb ramp right here. So you can really just push off really nice and quick. Just a really good quality Kydex sheath. And I love the Kydex sheaths that all the Scar Blades knives come with. They're pretty awesome. Nice. As I stab this Archangel, the two things right away is I'm getting a huge wound in the wood. You know, this is a really nice wide tip right here and it's going to give you a really deep wide wound if you were stabbing this into a combatant or just stabbing it you know into some hard material whatever uh, you know that's about an inch and a half almost width right here and with the sharpened swedge here as well as the belly and that tip I'm getting a really wide stab in there and I'm getting some really good penetration as well the other thing to note as I stab this knife into this wood is that this finger guard is superb 
This is an amazing finger guard right here. This is completely blocking my hand as I'm stabbing. There is no, you know, I'm not worried about coming down, hurting myself, cutting up my hand, whatever. I am so locked into place when you're doing a reverse stabbing thrust or if you're thrusting, you know, this way you got your thumb ramp and then the finger guard again and you can stab. And really, uh, you know, if you want to use this in a tactical format, really get, go to town, you know, stabbing, thrusting, you know, reverse grip. Uh, and, and it's just gonna do an awesome job. This is a little mini meat cleaver of uh, a blade, but it can also stab and penetrate rather well. All right, well, let's take a look here at the Scar Blades handle on the Archangel. You can see there, this is machined micarta, which is really nice. It has engraved on there, Archangel, and then on the other, sky, on the other side, Scar Blades USA, which is really nice, and you can just see how well they've done. I mean, this is just perfectly aligned. You know, these are semi-custom, just really, really well designed, nice and round and smooth, very comfortable, bolted in there, full tank construction, obviously, with a nice lanyard as well as a non-lethal pommel you could use back there, nice big lanyard hole. And uh, those finger grooves as well, you know, I wear large size gloves and you can see there, I got some plenty of room to spare. I got basically got a whole stack that I could move up and down if I need to and uh, it's just very, very comfortable in your hand. And what I love also about scar blades with their handles are they, they're not as thick as say, SE knives or rat knives. You know, they're a little narrower in design and a little thinner and just seem to fit my hands a little bit better. You know, it doesn't feel like you're holding this big block as you're swinging your blade around. And that's what I really love about these handles, all the handle designs on the scar blades knives. And this uh, Archangel is no exception that we've reviewed so far. I mean, it is just awesome. Feels so comfortable in your hand. Uh, you know, you can get all sorts of different colors which is also a plus and just really well designed in that way and when you're looking at the lockup on this Archangel it is amazing they give you a really nice gradual thumb ramp with some really good jimping along the back spine there you know you can really get up get some good control but you can also bypass it really easily if you're needing to do your carving whittling you got this awesome finger guard down here I mean you are not gonna slide up and hurt yourself with this knife if you're doing a stabbing you know move and then they give you this really nice big blank area that's definitely big enough for my index finger to get over and then I can cup the knife basically like this put my thumb over that thumb ramp and then just go to town I mean it is it is so comfortable and awesome to hold this Archangel basically in any format you're using it So this thing is definitely chopping, you know, it weighs in at 11 ounces and it can definitely get some motion on there, get some really good chops in. You, know, you can really clear some brush if you have to. You can see, I mean, 11 ounces for a four and a quarter inch blade is definitely pretty heavy. And that's nice because you can really get that action going there. The only complaint that I kind of have is that this kind of finger hook back here, uh, because it's not covered by micarta, if this was fully enclosed by micarta, it would definitely be a little more comfortable. It's kind of sending some sharp pains through my hand. I really have to think about where I'm holding the knife. I have to hold it really, really tight and up close to the finger guard up here. I can't, you know, kind of do like what I like to do, which is leave my pinky off and then kind of do more of a, you know, swinging chop chopping motion that digs right into my in, uh, into my ring finger and just is very kind of uncomfortable. So you really got to hold it like this and you really got to make sure you got a good grip on it because otherwise it'll just kind of shoot some sharp pains into your hand every like third swing just as your hand is kind of moving around on the handle. And uh, that's just kind of a little bit of a downside to me with the chopping. It chops great and with that 11 ounces, I mean, that's awesome. Some paracord right here. Just going right through that nylon rope very easily with that large amount of belly. I mean, it's just slicing right through that nylon rope. It does have that wide grind angle, 30 degrees on each side, but you can see there, I don't even really put any effort on it. Boom, just slices right through that nylon rope. That's nice. Nice. So you can see there that this Archangel can definitely split some wood. 
Uh, you know, if, particularly if you don't get the sharpened swedge up here, and even if you did, you can definitely get that kindling going to be able to go through some wood here, batoning, 3 sixteenths of an inch thick, really nice and thick. That's a big plus with the Archangel. All right, so in conclusion, the Scar Blades Archangel is a very unique blade and really high quality. I love the quality on it uh, and just the design. You know, it reminds me a lot of a, a Benchmade or something like that with that reverse uh, sharpened swedge right there, kind of a reverse tanto. Uh, that's awesome. And I love the blade, the uniqueness of it. Gives you a lot of options for a four and a quarter inch blade with that weight of 11 ounces. Uh, the Kydex sheath is awesome. Uh, it just everything about the blade is very unique and very uh, you know user friendly with one caveat, basically the handle. Uh, if that handle guard was just a little bit better back there, it's okay chopper, uh, the weight is there, uh, it's just the comfortability in the hand isn't necessarily amazing. I'm sure if you kind of goofed around with it for a long time and tried to figure out a, a good technique, I'm sure you could get it rocking where it wouldn't be uncomfortable in your hand. But I would say definitely don't chop with uh, bare hands, you know, you definitely feel it. I had to put some gloves on and then it felt a little bit better, uh, but that guard back there just kind of, uh, and that pommel just kind of holds it back a little bit uh, in the chopping department, but other than that, I mean, this is an awesome blade and uh, just a blast to use. So I hope this review has helped you guys out. Thanks for watching. Stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.